What's up everybody, Josh Kingsley here, your host for all things Control by Eaton. Today we're introducing a series called What's in the Trailer, where we invite you to explore all of the interactive demonstrations that are included in our industrial controls in motion trailer. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? We are going to look at the functionality of Eaton's innovations when applied to functional replicas of real-world applications. This 40-foot demo on wheels travels the country showcasing how our industrial control components help you work smarter, cut costs, improve energy efficiency, and keep you safe. Our goal is to make the trailer even more accessible to you through these episodes. Let's start with basic motor control. Let's see what's in the trailer. In the trailer, there are three configurations that can be implemented for basic motor control. What's common among them is that they include Busman series fuses for protection. These are used for their versatility and their high short circuit current ratings. We are also using Eaton's robust 22 millimeter pilot devices to start and stop your motors. Each configuration also features starters, but they're different, which is why I'm going to explore those next. Our first configuration features Eaton's definite purpose contactor with a C440 solid state overload, or for even simpler configurations, a bimetallic overload relay can be used. This combination is traditionally used in HVAC applications. The second configuration consists of Eaton's XT IEC contactor with a bimetallic overload, which is the go-to starter for machine builders because of its small footprint and low cost. Now the third configuration features an XT-IEC reversing contactor with an XT-OE solid state electronic overload. We have flush mounted 30 millimeter pilot devices and a selector switch. These are used in an application that requires a motor to move both forward and in reverse. Think of a garage door as an example. The electronic overload provides protection for your motor but because it uses advanced sensors, it can detect additional faults such as single phase and ground fault and can be remotely reset. Thanks for watching this episode of All Things Control and don't forget to keep it in control. <laughs>